want to make your graphics a little bit more fun and feel a little bit more handmade with using a cutout effect. Today we're going to look at how you can create a cutout effect in Canva. So making it look like you've cut around an element that's got, so that it's got that white cutout border around it so it's got that really scrapbooky look to it. Normally if you just go and add a border to something it's going to be a very clean rounded edge. But in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create that more jagged hand cutout look so that it gives it that more handmade scrapbooky feel. So let's dive into the tutorial. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is grab the photos that we want to use to put this cutout effect on. So let's say we want to grab this one to start with. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and click on that photo, click edit photo and background remover. Now the next thing you're going to do is go and get a white box. So we're just going to go up to shapes. You're going to make that white. Make sure it covers it really well. You can even make it the whole page if you want. And layer center back. Now you're going to come up here to share and we're going to go to more here and copy to clipboard and press copy to clipboard. Now we can make a new page. You can always delete it if you wanted to. Then you're going to paste. So you can right click and press paste and it's going to place it in. Now it's a single object. So now we've got that white behind it. So now what we're going to do is go again to edit photo and background remover. But we're going to do something different this time. So now we're going to go click on these little sliders here and you're going to click on the one that says restore. And this is where you're going to go in and create that cutout effect. So you can go around and you want to do this carefully, but also not too careful because we want it to have that sort of rough cutout feel. Now what you can also do is you go along if something feels a bit off instead of undoing, you can also use a raise. And this way you can get some straighter lines too because you notice that with the restore it gives it quite rounded brush. So if we want some straighter lines we can come in with a raise and go back over and cut some bits. So you can basically just jump between restore and erase to go around and create that cutout look. So you can see here with something like the finger, it's going to be quite big unless we go and put the brush size down and go really carefully around. But that's a lot of to and fro, so we can just leave the brush size the same. Just go around, grab a raise and go back over it. And then we can also try and make it a little bit straighter. Because most of the time people are not cutting out things perfectly rounded. They're cutting them more out jagged with straight lines. So if you want to, Feel free to do big areas if you want to make more straight lines. You can go get a big area and go arrays, arrays, and make those big cutout bits. So once you're happy with how it looks, how that cutout looks, now you can go back. So you just press this back button. Now what we want to do is make our background a different color so we can actually see it. And you can see your cutout. So now you can see if it's quite how you want it or didn't quite work. You may be experimenting in the start just to get a feel for it and the kind of look you want. It depends if you want it to have quite a lot of white around it or only a little bit. It's really experimental and just a bit of fun to create this really fun cute cutout look. And as you can see it looks rough, it looks a bit jagged and messy, but that's what we want. We want it to look messy. If you just added an outline around something that looks very neat. This is more about making this real rough cutout look like it looks like somebody cut it out of a magazine. And you can have a lot of fun with this because you can use anything that you can cut out. So you can have objects, you can have pictures of yourself, and you can create really cool collage looking graphics using this technique. So let's try another one now using an object. So if we go into graphics and go find an object. So you can, as you can see, you could find things that are already cut out, just add that white background or you do a cutout. So it's really up to you. So let's just grab this one, for example, and we'll go to edit photo and background remover. So if you've got something that already has the background removed or it has a white background already, obviously that's going to help you skip a few steps and make the process faster. So I'm just showing you completely how you do this in case it doesn't. So you know to first move background and grab a white box. Now, if you want the cutout to have a different color behind it, of course, you can create a different colored box. It doesn't have to be white, but white tends to give it that um, sort of scrapbook feel. So we'll just get rid of that background. And again, we're going to go to share and more and copy to clipboard. 
make sure you choose the page. So if you've got multiple pages now, make sure you choose the page you actually want to use. Right now, this time we'll just delete this because we don't need it anymore and we'll paste the one you want in. And again, edit photo, background remover, sliders, and let's get in here and start doing it. So. So we've got a good rough start there. Now we can go back to the eraser one and roughen it up a bit more. All right, so let's go back and have a look at how that looks. Now maybe we'll put it over on this page with this one. And there we go. Now we've got two cutouts. As you can see, it creates this real cool rough effect that really looks like it's just been ripped out and cut out. And it's a really fun collage effect. So have some fun with this, and if you want to learn more about Canva, graphic design, branding, and creativity, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.